Hi guys. Greetings to you all. Today we'll be looking at integration. Integration that involves some substitution. That they normally use substitution, but I would like us to look at the trick that you can use without by just by just by inspection without necessarily using substitution. Okay, let's look at these examples. For example, uh, like this one, this example here. Yeah. We have here x square square root of x cubed plus five dx. How do you integrate this? Now, to integrate this using a fast approach, instead of saying let u equal to x cubed plus five and so on, do all of that change of variable. This special integration is identifying that integrating with respect to something as not x. Like here, if you look at this, you look at inside here, x cubed plus 5, you notice that if this is, in, is differentiated, we are going to have 3x squared. And what do we have here? x squared. Okay? Since we have 3x squared and we have x squared here, it means for us to have x squared is 1 third, right? 1 third times the 3x squared that you obtain will give us x squared. Okay? So this is how the integration goes. x cubed plus 5 square root. You see, we are now integrating with respect to x cubed plus 5. Let's take note. Because you are used to integrating with respect to x, with respect to y, a single variable. Now we are looking at integration with respect to a term. And it, since all of this term is here, haven't identified that, okay, we know that x cubed plus 5 square root is means to the power half with respect to x cubed plus 5, all right? When that is done, if you are integrating here to the power half, it means I add 1, which will give me 3 over 2. I divide by 3 over 2. Then with the one third that was there, we have 2 over 9 x cubed plus 5 to the power 3 over 2 plus c. Okay. Now let's look at the second example. Integral of cos x sine cube x dx. When you look at cos x, you will notice that it's a derivative of sine x, because x is a derivative of sine x. So having identified that, if you are to use the trick, as I've highlighted here in red, it means the integral will go thus. Integral of sine cube x d sine x. Why d sine x? Because this d sine x is a derivative, the derivative of sine x, which is giving us this cos x here. So we are not integrating with respect to sine x. And what do we have here? Sine x. Take note that when we integrate x to the uh, we respect uh, integrate x to the power n dx, it's x to the power n plus one divided by n plus one. Now this is just like that our x and this. So we have it means we add the power one quarter sine four x plus a constant term. All right. Now let's look at the third example e to the x square root of 1 plus e to the x dx okay we have e to the x here right if i differ if we differentiate 1 plus e to the x we are going to have e to the x all right which means this e to the x is the derivative of 1 plus e to the x the derivative of 1 plus e to the x you see, 1 plus e to the x square root is the derivative, okay, of e to the x plus this plus 1, plus 1, yes. So we are integrating with respect to e to the x plus 1. And e to the x here, 1 plus e to the x square root, it means all of this to the power half, right? Now, knowing that when we are integrating, 
we are adding the power by one half plus one that's what gives us three over two here and we divide all through by three over two the dividing by three over two means multiplying by two over three plus k that's the value of our integral now let's look at another example here example four another interesting integral that will not waste time using u substitution right all right we have here x into x squared minus 3 to the power 4 dx looking at this when we differentiate x squared minus 3 what do we have yes all right we have 2x okay which we have here the in green here is x right and we have 2x we are seeing that what is here is the derivative of the function that is inside let's take note of that and since it is 2x for us to counteract, what do we have? Half. All right. So we have now x squared minus 3 to the power 4. In integrating with respect to x squared minus 3. Since we are integrating with respect to x squared minus 3, it means this the function under this uh, the base here for this power here is giving is x squared minus 3. So what do we do? We just simply add the power by 1 and divide it. Divide by that power. So 1 over 2, x squared minus 3, 5 divided by 5 plus k. Now we have 2 times 5 here, which gives us 10. So we have x squared minus 3 to the power 5 divided by 10 plus k. Okay. Now... Let's look at another example here, yeah, example 5. The integral of x square x tan cube x dx. Alright. Looking at this, with this first trick, that we in, by inspection, we don't need to use E substitution still. What do we do here? Take note that x square s is the derivative of tan x. Having identified that, it means that we have the integral of tan cube x d tan x d tan x because when we differentiate tan, tan x gives us six square x. So the place of six square x is taken by what? The derivative of tan x. And we have tan to the power 3x with respect to this. So what do we have as our answer? Yes, just one second. What do we have? All right. So we add the power by by one. So it's three plus one, which is four. As di then divided by four, plus our constant of integration. So that is the first trick I have I had for I have for you today. Wishing you all the best. Wishing to see you as you subscribe. Click on the notification bell. Like, share, comment. Bye.